Hey, 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 it's your girl Evelyn here. And listen, I wanted to do this video to share with you my excitement. So you probably can tell by the title, I have started my book girly journey. And let me just give you a little bit of backstory. I'm going to be sharing with you the books that I read in June of 2024. There was two, but I want to tell you kind of like how I got here all the kind of everything that's going on. I'm just super excited. Like I, I haven't found something that I enjoy as much as food and makeup and dance in a long time. Right. So I feel like I'm rounding out my hobbies. You know, like this is the year of curating play, curating pleasure, curating hobbies and interests for me. So so let me give you a little backstory. So last October, I went on vacation with my mom and I decided I was like, I want this to be a more relaxing vacation than like an activity filled vacation. Right. So one of the things that I decided to do was I said, you know what? I haven't read a fiction book in years. Like I couldn't, I think maybe the last time I had read a fiction book was in college. You know, obviously I have lots of cookbooks. I've read a ton of business and personal development books, whether audio books or tangible books over like the past 15 years or more. And I literally was like, I cannot take one more personal development, build your business, but I just can't, I just, I, I just couldn't do it. Okay. So I was like, and I don't want to read that on a vacation that felt like work. So I was like, you know what? I want to read a novel. Okay. And I was like, I don't even know where to start, but I was like, you know what? Let's start with a good romance novel. So I went on the internet, this was October of 2023, and I picked up two books, right? And I'm going to share with you what those books are. Now, I only ended up reading one, and it's because when I started reading it one morning, I finished it in one day. I could not put it down, and I like I was so ravenous for it that I was just like, is it the book, or is it reading, or is it a combination? I don't know, but in my mind, I was like, whatever this feeling is, Whatever this sensation is, I want to bring it back home with me and incorporate it into my regular, regular, everyday life, right? So fast forward, do I do it? No, okay? <laughs> I'm like, oh, when am I going to have time to read X, Y, Z? Now, mind you, I am a, a woman who doesn't even have a pet, okay? So I don't, I don't have children. Uh, I don't have a spouse at this time. I don't have a pet. There is time to be had. My life is very full with activities and work and things and just relationships and all that kind of stuff. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to add to the level of hobbies. And I was like, I already was kind of like, okay, Evelyn, you've got a, 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 a company that you run. You know, you got your own business. And I was like, okay, you're doing dance. You're doing boxing. You're doing therapy. You're doing, you, you're in the makeup. You're back to cooking. Like, I was like, you like home decor. When are you going to find time to read? But I was like, I, I, I needed to get, I needed to see if that sensation that I felt in October was like fleeting or if it was real. So in June of this year, I decided to take myself on a little trip or maybe it was the end of May to half price books, right? I was like, let me just go see what's in here. I had started watching a couple of like booktube videos, things like that. And I was like, you know, let me put together a TBR. Look at me. I'm learning the lingo and everything y'all. So um, I put together a list of like 150 books on Amazon that I want to read. So let me let me get into the book that kicked it all off, which is going to be no surprise if you are into romance and if you are a fiction reader. But this book right here, Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. This book, I will now credit this book as the book that got me back into reading. I read this book in one sitting. Like from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., I knocked this thing out. It was so good. It is a romance novel. Now, it's got some stuff in here, okay? It, it's, it's got some read the content warnings. Um, you know, if you're triggered by certain things or whatever, this book got me. It, it just, uh, it just, it, it was so good. A, a black romance novel, like I can envision the characters. It was modern day. If you know anything about this book, um, you know, don't spoil it for anybody in the comments. But this is the book that I read Seven Days in June by Tia Williams that got me back into reading because I could not put it down. It was so, so good. Like there was a part in this book that I remember there's there's a line. I'm not going to say what it is. But when I read it, I gasped. I was like, oh, like I, 
like in a romance novel. Not a thriller, not a suspense, none of like that. This is the book. Now, at that time, I had also purchased another book that I still have not read because I think this may be was considered a YA book, Young Adult. And I don't think that that is a genre that I'm drawn to currently, um, but it's the Davenports. OK, and this is also a romance novel. And it's basically about a, a wealthy black family set like I think it's, I think this is like the 1920s or the 1930s. I think I've only read like eight pages of it. Um, and basically, um, obviously, it's time for you know, the daughter to kind of enter society and start dating and call all of that. But considering they are a black wealthy family during this time period, obviously that's going to be an interesting ride. So I haven't started, I haven't really got into this one. I think it's YA two. I don't know if I'm into, um, I want light and fluffy, right? Like I don't want racism i don't want like social economic issues i don't want like civil war types like i want light and fluffy give me like basically a hallmark movie with black characters in a book and that's that's what i'm looking for right now seven days in june is not that okay let me be clear seven days in june is not that it was fantastic though okay but it was not that like there was some stuff in that book that made me cry like oh but it was good so anyway i still have this i'm, I'm still gonna read it because i own it but these were the two books that I took on vacation. Now, fast forward, fast forward to May, June of this year. And these are the two books that I picked up from Half Price, price Books. I, English, Evelyn, from Half Price Books. I'm so excited. So I picked up A Low Country Bride. This was cute. Um, this was really good if you like a slow burn with no spice, right? This was really good. I think I read this in like three days. And basically, it's about a woman who's a bridal designer who has to move to the South um, temporarily for some family issues. And the story ensues from there. So there is, um, I believe, a follow up to this book. And I think there's also going to be a sequel release to the Davenports, which is partially why I want to read it, because I also want to get the sequel. It's like it's the same thing with like makeup. It's like I want the whole I want the whole collection. So this was really cute. Like I said, slow burn, um, no spice, really, really good. There is some spice in seven days in June. So if you're not into that, be mindful of that. And then the other book that I picked up is the referral program by Shamara Ray. This book was super cute. I think I read this in about three or four days. Um, and basically the premise of this book is these women are in their 30s they're single and they want to be married and so they're tired of doing the dating apps and so they decided to create something called a referral program which each one of the women refers two to three other men to their other two friends right uh, obviously men that they have not dated before like people that are friends or in their life that they think may be a good fit for their friends so the thing about that is though it makes for a lot of characters right because you've got three women so you've got to keep track of the three friends and then all the different men that they go on dates with. And you're trying to like keep track of who is what and all that kind of stuff. But I thought it was really, really cute. Um, I like it. I definitely enjoyed the reading. Like I could visualize this scenario, right? Like I could see the, 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 the homes, the spaces. I could see the women. I could see the guys, all that kind of stuff. I thought it was super cute. There is a little bit of spice in this book, but you know, not too over the top. And uh, a cute, easy read right so that's what I've been reading and then y'all I decided I said you know what Evelyn let's be reasonable about this you have 150 books on your Amazon TBR I know <laughs> 150 and I said to myself I said you know what I recently started going to the library actually to do some co-working and I said let me see if they have any books from my TBR on there and they had five books oh <laughs> five books from my uh tbr on there so let me and i have not started reading these but let me show you what i picked up so the first one is the kiss countdown by etta easton i'm excited to read this i think in this book he's an astronaut and they used to date but then they broke up years ago and like she's now like 
administrative assistant or something like that. I don't know. All I know is um, once I read the back cover like online, I put it in my TBR and then I just was walking through the library uh, in the romance section. And if they had a book that was on my TBR, I checked it out. So the Kiss Countdown looks super cute. I am currently in the phase of my book journey where I like the cartoon covers. I, I, it just feels fun. It feels like playtime to me. Um, I also picked up Where We End and, Be- and Begin. Okay, but this is by Jane Igaro. I'm excited about this. Um, it says, A Page Turning Emotional and Romantic Journey of Self-Discovery. This looks like this might be kind of heavy. That's fine. It's, it's black romance, okay? I also picked up By the Book by Jasmine Gilry. So, a meant to be novel. I'm excited about this. Listen, and I here's the thing. I actually want to own all these books. So, I'm, I, I may end up purchasing a lot of these books. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I got that one. I also picked up The Perfect Find by Tia Williams. Tia Williams. So, this I believe this is the first book from um, Tia Williams. So, this is the same woman who wrote seven days in june i believe this is her first book i also believe they made it into a netflix movie i heard the netflix movie was not that great i have not watched it i i want to read the book first so i picked that up and then um i picked up honey and spice by bolu babalola i want to make sure i hope i pronounced that right it says sweet like plantain hot like pepper they taste the best one together i listen i'm trying to read this okay um it says honey and spice is gorgeously written and heart meltingly romantic kiki and malachi have a rare extraordinary sizzling chemistry which has you rooting for their love story from the very first moment they cross paths a triumph of a novel i it's the name for me honey and spice now i will say this i prefer a hardback book i know some people prefer paperbacks i'm a hardback book so girly so that's it. I, I'm excited to read these. These are going to be some of my summer reads. I, you know, I, I'm not, you know, I don't have necessarily any reading goals at the moment. Um, but a couple of books a month just to kind of dip my toe into the book talk. When I, I don't know if I want to do book talk, but into the booktube world, just into the bookish content, all that kind of stuff. I'm really, really excited. Um, I'll leave a link if you want to see the books that are on my TBR. I'll leave a link to my list on Amazon in the description bar box and I'll also leave a link to all these books um so if you want to check them out want to read the back cover all that kind of stuff you can have access to that y'all I even opened a Goodreads account what am I who who am I okay I don't know what to do with myself but anyway I'm super super excited about it and yeah yeah I'll kind of keep you updated about how the book journey is going as you know new things come on my radar as I read new things and uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing reviews or what. I just wanted to share. I'm excited. Just like I'm excited about makeup and home decor and food and all that kind of stuff. I figured I'd come on and share. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Check out all the links below if you're interested. Let me know some of your favorite black romance novels down below. Um, and I'm specifically looking for like black male, black female characters right um by black authors that's like that's kind of the genre that i want to fall into so let me know if you look at my tbr and you see some things are missing let me know in the comments below and i'll see you in my next video peace